Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Sienna. Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. A lot of you guys have asked me to do this surprisingly and I haven't done one in a while. It brings me back to YouTube circa 2014, 2015. That's the vibe that it's giving me. But I am here to deliver today. I'm going to show you what's on my iPhone, all of the apps that I love, how I organize my phone, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, then just keep on watching. I do like to raw dog it and not have a case on my phone. Probably why the camera is shattered. Unless I find a new case that I'm really obsessed with. I'm just like, let's raw dog it. It looks really good like that. The last case that I was using was this smiley face one and it's from the brand Oh My Case. And it was a collaboration with Kenzie, one of my besties, love her. But then I decided let's raw dog it for a little bit. So that's what we're doing. I have the iPhone 11 Pro. I think this is in white. My lock screen is just neutrals, baby. I love neutrals. That's gonna be the theme of this, warm, minimal neutrals. Love her, looks good, beautiful. I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb though because, so this is my home screen when you go into my iPhone and I only have two pages that are pretty and then the rest of my apps are hidden in that cool little, you know, the little folders in the back. I think the folders in the back was the best thing that iPhone has done because you don't have to have all of these apps clouding your home screen looking very ugly. You can make them, you can make your home screens beautiful and then keep the other apps in the back. The first thing though is this little search side. So I do have the weather and then I have Libby, which is the app that I use to get free Kindle and audiobooks is basically just an extension to the library near you. So I have a library card and this is how I check out and loan audiobooks and Kindle books. So Libby and I'm currently reading Malibu Rising. Love that book so much. I only have six days left and I'm 57% done, but we're okay. We're getting there. And then down we have my Google Calendar. I don't know why it's there twice. I first have the battery widget at the top because I like to see what my battery's at. And it's great because if you connect any Apple products like your Beats Pill or your AirPods, it'll tell you the battery percentage of that or your Apple Watch. So that's just really handy right in the front. And then the four apps that I have to the right of that are the photos and you can create all of these pretty little pictures with the shortcuts app. I did it back when this whole thing started of customizing your background. So I haven't changed it since then, but I just like it very neutral and beautiful. So I have the photos app, Instagram. Let's pull it up so you can see my Instagram. Bam, there's my Instagram. I need to post more on it. I was doing really well, and then now I don't have anyone to really take my photos. So I'll be back on my grind on Instagram very soon, but I am posting stories every day. So you can always keep up to date with me on stories. That's where I am mostly, but that's just my Instagram. And then I have Spotify, which again, if you wanna follow me on Spotify, here is my Spotify. I take very much a lot of pride in these playlists and for some reason one of my most popular playlists was autumn mix and for some reason it got reported so the title and the picture were taken down and every time i kept trying to redo it it kept getting taken down and i'm like what is offensive about the word autumn mix i have a literal playlist called hose i don't know what that was so that had to go private and now i have no problem with it so when i figure that out that playlist will be public again but it's just my autumn playlist with like all the autumn vibes and the music that I listen to in the fall time. But anyway, then I have Twitter. I don't go on that as much as I used to. Then I have a widget in the middle with my reminders app and I just like to put the three things that I like to do daily on there. So movement, vitamins, and meditation. Those are just the three things that I've had on there forever. And those are the three things that I like to do every day. But it also looks pretty and it's an easy way to just get into that app if I need to because I do use the reminders app a lot because I'm very forgetful. And then down on the left side, we have my Google Calendar, which I use nonstop. I live by my Google Calendar. And if you guys want me to do a walkthrough of my Google Calendar and how I, how I use it essentially, then just give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section below and I will do that very soon. And then I have Google Maps. Um, that's, you know, it's Google Maps. And then I have this app called Daily Art, which I actually don't use as much as I used to, but it will just show you a piece of art every day. It'll tell you a little bit about it. You can favorite it um, to look back on it. It was really interesting. I stopped looking at it every day, but it is 
really nice to look at whenever you want to just look at some art. Then I have this folder, which is my kind of everyday folder, and I put apps in here without the pretty shortcuts, but they still kind of match the aesthetic, so I use Notion every day. Again, I made a Notion video a while ago, but I will do an updated one if you guys want to see that. Again, hit me up in the comment section below, but I will also link my previous Notion video up on the screen or wherever it's going to be. So if you want to watch that, how I use Notion, it's there. And then CoStar, love her. That is astrology. So here's my chart if you want to look at it. But also uh, CoStar doesn't show you your Midhaven or your Chiron or your end node. And my Chiron is Scorpio. My end node is Virgo and my Midhaven is Leo. In case you care, but that's my chart. Cool. CoStar is just how you can compare charts with other people. Very handy for new boy toys. Okay. And then I have Apple Wallet. It just has my stuff in there. It's a wallet, you know? Then we have the New York Times. This is how I get my news. It's my preferred place to get news. I used to get notifications for it, but that is very overwhelming and I'm not trying to see negativity every second of the day. So I'll just go in there when I want to read articles, but it's there. Then I have the clock. We love her. We all use her. Then I have Unfold, which is an editing app for Instagram. So in this app, you can basically use their templates for Instagram stories. You can use them for feed posts too, but I usually use it to post that I have a new video up. So I have just like a go-to template that I use. This is my go-to template to let you guys know like, hey, new video. So I just put the thumbnail inside of that. Bam, Unfold is great. It's from Squarespace. You guys know I love Squarespace. Um, it's a really nice app. I think it's a great way to take your stories to the next level when you have apps that have templates. So that's one of them. And then we have the Alexa app. She heard me. She heard me. Okay, I have that app because, you know, she sits right there and you have the app on your phone. Cool. Then I have Planoly. Planoly, whatever. But this is how you can plan your feed out on Instagram. This is my preferred app that I use. I'm not going to open it because, well, I will open it. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so I, I haven't used this in a while because, again, I fell off my Instagram game but this is just how I would plan out my feed to see how the photos would look next to each other. You can also plan stories on here if you want. I don't do that. I think I like to be more authentic with that and just like more in the moment, but you could plan stories there. It's really great. You could see it on a calendar view too. You can actually schedule time. I don't know if that's with the premium version because I do have the premium version. You could schedule a time to set a reminder to post and it'll tell you the best times to post for your audience on Instagram. It's a really great app. I very much love it. Okay, and then I have the Press Juice app because I love juice and I live next door to Press Juiceries. And then over on the other side, I have the Notes app. She's self-explanatory. One thing I do want to show you on my Notes app, I'm going to hide the rest of them, but I do have pinned notes, which is really handy. And something that I like to do is have a thoughts note so that anything that just comes to my mind, I can quick capture it. And then in my weekly reset, then I will say, okay, I'll sort through it and put it where it needs to go. So if it's a to-do, if it's something I need to research, it will just be dealt with during my weekly reset, but I keep a thoughts little note. Then I have settings, self-explanatory, and then this app is called Moonly, and it just tells you the phase of the moon that we're currently in and what astrological sign is um, associated with it. So the moon is currently in Libra. And then I have my Goodreads account. This is my Goodreads account, and... I just, I don't really do reviews on there because I like to talk about the books that I read in my videos, but I will just keep track of like where my progress is at, what books I finished, how many stars I rated. So if you want to follow me on Goodreads, I will link it down below. And then the last app in that folder is Street Easy. And Street Easy is my newest addiction because I do want to move to New York when this lease is up, which is in June of next year. I shouldn't have gotten on Street Easy so early, but basically Street Easy makes it so easy for you to search for apartment listings in New York. You could put your preference of location, the prices, your non-negotiables, like if you want an elevator, a doorman, that kind of stuff. And it'll just notify you of like new listings and it'll show you them in New York. It's just New York real estate. I think it's powered by Zillow, which I love. Yeah, um, yeah, that app is real fun, but I can't live in New York yet, so. Then on the second page, we have my little Spotify widget up in the left corner, and this is just quick way to access Spotify, even though it's on the front page. It's also really pretty because I do have pretty playlist covers for most of my playlists, so it looks good on there and I love the aesthetic of it. And then on the right side, I have Mojo, which is another Instagram app with templates. This is just an app to give you templates for your Instagram stories. You can also do them for 
a post or whatever, but um, again, it's another template app for Instagram stories. I really like it. And then I have Tezza. Tezza is the app that I use to edit my Instagram photos. I just love the filters on there. The ones that I like to use are milky and creamy. I used to use... I don't remember which one I used to use. But Milky and Creamy are the filter that I use and I just edit it as such. I do it very lightly though. I'm not into heavy editing on my photos. Plus, if you take a good photo and good lighting and it matches your colors on your feed, you don't need to edit it that much anyway. Like all of these photos, they have similar colors, so the editing is very minimal and it's not as important. But that is the app that I use. And they do have templates on this app if you wanted to use them. I actually haven't used any of the templates, but looking at them, I very much need to because they look good. My foot was asleep, but I'm back. Okay, and then I have Lightroom, which is Adobe Lightroom, and I used to use presets on my photos. I would just dabble in different ones from different creators, but I've never found one that I really liked, so I don't use that app as much. Then we have Libby, which is what I just told you about. It's the app that I use to connect to my library to get audiobooks and Kindle books on loan. Then down below, we have podcasts, just Apple Podcasts. Love podcasts so much. If you have any recommendations of podcasts that you guys are currently loving, let me know in the comment section below because I'm trying to get into more podcasts. Then I have Google Translate. I don't use Google Translate ever, and I don't know why it's there, but I like the picture that's associated with it, so I've never changed it. Okay, then I have TikTok, love her. I try so hard not to go on it at night because if I go on TikTok at night, then I'm not gonna get off. But I do have a TikTok account, which I will link below, but I'm trying to be more active on there. I've done a shitty job so far, but I am going to try my best. Hello, do you wanna start a fight? Do you wanna start a fight? He'll eat you. Then I have the Nest app, which is just connected to my thermostat in my apartment, so. Let's, let's show you. Chateau Mirabella is what I call my apartment. My temperature in my house ranges from 69 to 76. I don't know. I don't know, okay? Don't, 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 don't start with me. Okay, then over on the right side, I have another widget and this is just connected to my aesthetic Pinterest board. So it will display photos every hour that is from that Pinterest board. And I think it matches the way that the phone screen looks. So that's the Pinterest board that I chose. Then down on the bottom two rows, we have Pinterest. Love her if you wanna peep my Pinterest. I think I link it in all of my descriptions, but look at my Pinterest. I just love her. I just love her. Okay, and then I have the Starbucks app. Sometimes a girl wants to go to Starbucks. It's especially great to go to Starbucks in the fall and winter because they have pumpkin spice lattes and caramel brulee lattes. Like girl, I only go to Starbucks during this time because of that. Then I have Snapchat, which I do not use ever. There is no point in following me on there because I never post on there. I don't even use it to Snapchat anymore because I am 23 and it's like, okay. Then I have the YouTube app because I watch YouTube videos nonstop. I love watching them when I'm in the car waiting for an appointment or I'm trying to go to bed. YouTube videos on my phone. Then we have this wellness folder and in here I have ClassPass, which is how I schedule workouts. I love ClassPass. I think I have a link for like a first month free. I don't know, but if I do have a special discount code, link, whatever, I'll put it in the description box below. Everything will be there. Then I have Headspace, which is a meditation app that I really love. It's my go-to for guided meditation. They have a plethora of meditations and I really like the narrator's voice, so. Then I have my Fitness Pal, which I actually don't use. It's similar to LifeSum. Those apps are the same. They're just macro counters. But when I'm going to keep track of my meals to kind of see like where my macros are at, those are the apps that I use. I switch between the two, but yeah. Then I have the Whole Foods app because if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get a discount if you scan your phone at Whole Foods, so. Then I have the app Clue, which is just a period tracker. I've used it for years. I just don't, I don't know any other apps. That's like the app that I use. It worked great for me. Cool. Um, and then I have the Nike training app, which is a fitness app that has workouts on it. I don't use this anymore, but it is still on my phone for if I do want to use it. And then I have the weather app. It's nice to know the weather. Then Depop, which I haven't posted on in a while, but I have like five bags of clothes that I need to post. So if you wanna follow me on Depop, I'm going to be posting on there very soon and I'm gonna have so many clothes that I need to post. Then I have the Amazon app. Guys, I love her. Like I am so embarrassed, but Amazon is just, it's so good, it's so good. And then we just have all of my apps over here in these app library folders. So let's just take a look at all my apps. Yeah, Clubhouse, I never use that. Instagram, messages, phone, Snapchat, TikTok, Tumblr, never use her, that's why she's not on the front. Productivity and finance, 
Okay, a tracker is tracking your time, but then I realized you need a paid subscription and I was like, no, so I haven't deleted it. Duo is a, I don't know what Duo is. I literally don't know what the app Duo is. Uh, Flora, don't know what that is. Hello sign for contracts. Milkshake is to create a cute little link in bio thing, but now that I have a website, I don't use it anymore. Notes, Notion. Now then is a tracker. It tracks like what you're doing. Same as a tracker, but it's free. So use that one. That's what I'm gonna start using again. And creativity. Okay. Mm-hmm. Entertainment. Yeah, the NFL app, because football's back on and I care sometimes. Depends. Okay, Furbo, that's how I watch my dog. Um, okay, utilities. Okay, shopping and food. Okay, I really have not cleaned, cleaned these apps in a while. I probably should have done that before I did this video, but I didn't. So these are just the apps. So if they're in here, Park Mobile, that's for parking. Then what's Duo? Games, I actually have games on my phone. I have not played a game on my phone in years. So they're just there, just in case. Um, Yeah, it's really messy down here. It is really messy. Oh my God, my student Canvas account. Those are all of the apps on my phone. That is what's on my iPhone. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.